Hello there guys, it's Stephen here and we have a mid-season transfer target. It's only October, January is still a long time away but we needed to do a transfer target because, and it's obviously because of the international break, the papers have been very bored, they've been asking managers about signings and so on and there's been loads of rumours, there's been two or three names to discuss but mainly it's about Alexis Sanchez because Wenger has come out and said that he could be sold. But before I get onto that, don't forget to download the app in the description which is One Football, the wonderful people over there who are sponsoring my videos, thank you very much guys uh, and it's a good app it's very fun it keeps you up to date of all Manchester City news transfers all the gospel that kind of stuff it keeps you from those incredibly boring moments at work or at school or college or whatever you may be at uh, so download it because it's a good app and it helps keep this channel alive thank you One Football. but let's get on to the actual transfer target we're going to start as ever as like summer all over again with Alexis Sanchez now Wenger has basically admitted that they're probably going to sell him in January, that they're at least thinking about it. I don't know what happened, but it looks kind of likely that they're considering doing that. He said that they're going to consider every possible avenue when they're in the situation that they're in, i.e. Ozil and Sanchez both want to leave, both haven't signed a new contract, and they're thinking, we probably need a bit of money for them instead of letting them walk away in a free. And I think it's also fair to say that Sanchez hasn't been involved much so far this season, and maybe... They're kind of prepping the idea of selling him for 20, 30 million, whatever it will be, to City in the uh, in the January transfer window. Now, uh, I've got a feeling it could happen. I think Sanchez, he so far has played in the EFL Cup and in the, uh, the Europa League, hasn't really made much Premier League starts, but though he did sulk for a long time, understandably because he wants to play for Pep Guardiola. He did sulk for a bit and he was obviously away with Chile for one point and he didn't really kind of force his way back into the team initially. So he's scored one goal with seven appearances so far this season. I think Arsenal will let him go. Less so with Ozil, maybe, but I think in January Sanchez could go and I think City will probably see someone like him coming in as, as a fresh boon, a fresh burst of energy towards the business end the season so to speak bear in mind he's not Champions League tied ever because I've obviously also didn't make the Champions League which feels funny to say uh, so he could play in that competition but yeah I think City could see this as um, a great way to boost us towards trophy success towards the end of the season some fresh goals from fresh energy he hasn't played that well so far this season for Arsenal but he's undeniably quality and I'm sure if he, get, he came over to the Etihad in a blue shirt he'd be absolutely giving 110% uh, to prove all those doubters wrong now personally I'm not actually keen on bringing him in the first place I think Sarney looks like he's in incredibly good form Sterling uh, is having the season of his life so far scoring loads more goals than he ever usually does Aguero and Jesus are showing that they can play together Bernardo Silva can't get in the team at the moment and there's also occasionally the odd gap for Foden to make the bench now I'm not denying the quality of Sanchez but I would be happy with what we've got personally I think you can have too much of a good thing sometimes Sanchez would undeniably improve us but I don't know but then you could turn around and say, if Aguero or Jesus or anyone gets a long-term injury, all of a sudden we look very, very short for goal-scoring options. And that's probably a fair statement too. Let me know in the comments if you would sign him. On to someone else, Fawuzi, I can't even pronounce that, Gulam, the Napoli left-back now. He's another that's contract runs out uh, in summer. And City apparently linked to a £3 million cut price deal. That's obviously bollocks. There is no way they are going to sell him for £3 million, given the fact that they are closing in potentially on a historic title in Napoli. Uh, now, in general, he would be a fantastic fit for Manchester City. Obviously, Mendy is out for a very long time, which is sad news. Delft's stepped in, done okay, uh, well done very well so far, but he isn't a left back obviously, and we still only have Danilo who can play there, really. Gulam is a fantastic player, he fits in a Manchester City style, given the fact that Sarri has Napoli playing this incredible possession style, he can bomb forward, he can defend a little bit, he's one of those fullbacks who can do a bit of everything, and he'd be a very good cut price addition to our team. Now, I don't know if he'd actually leave, I think he'd be quite loyal to the club and maybe try and see the job out over in Napoli, but then again, uh, maybe Napoli would find it hard to not resist a little bit of money. If I was them, I'd keep him. But I don't know. But he's kind of got a chance to make history over there. My instinct is that he'll just see the job out, so to speak, and then leave for a hell of a lot of money in the summer when he can claim, obviously, a free, uh, free agent kind of boost, really, in terms of his wages. He would be a great signing, though, but I think it'd be well more than £3 million. You're talking probably closer to 20 given the fact that Napoli really don't need to sell him. And the next guy's a mouthful. Sergej Milinkovic Savic. Hands up if you said that first time. I think I actually got that right as well. He's a 22-year-old Serbian Lazio midfielder. Uh, and apparently he's turning lots of heads with some incredibly powerful and impressive performances over in Syria. Now, I can't profess to be a Sergej Milinkovic-Savic 
uh, expert. I'm, I'm not. Maybe people who play FIFA more than I do, uh, or Championship Manager will know more than I do about him, but I haven't got time to watch Serie A in a regular interval. I can only really gauge what people have said online about him and what I've seen on videos. And he does seem a very tidy player. He seems to be very impressive. He's absolutely huge, about six foot three, six foot four, built like the proverbial brick wall, uh, a big guy, but he has a good touch. I think he's played a, a kind of like a, an eight role, number eight role for Lazio. I can't really see him getting there ahead of David Silva, Kevin De Bruyne, if I'm being totally honest. Maybe he'd be some kind of long-term pivot kind of solution in terms of sitting a little bit deeper. He does have the ability on the ball, from what I can gather, to be able to uh, receive the ball from the centre-backs, dictate play a little bit. Uh, and I'll offer a slightly different take on the role that Fernandinho does. He'd have to learn a little bit. Maybe uh, City are looking for uh, younger options. He's only 22 years old. The fee, I'm sure, would be astronomical, given the fact that the fees in general are astronomical now. But I I'd like to be educated by you lot on this one. What do you think of this potential side? I don't know loads about him. It seems exciting. It's always exciting when you're linked to a 22-year-old who's causing uh, a bit of a stir over in Italy because it's just exciting. It is. I don't know if he's the long-term solution, though, so I'd have to pass judgment on that one a little bit in the moment. Let me know in the comments if you see him coming from Manchester City. I think it's just paper talk, personally. He's also been linked to United, which says it all. In general, I guess it's silly season during the transfer windows, during the international break even, where papers get bored and link City to basically pretty much anyone, just to, something to write about. Anyway, guys, that is the end of this transfer target. There'll be uh, a preview for the Stoke game. I'm looking forward to that. International football is finally over. That'll be back at the weekend, so there'll be a preview tomorrow, hopefully. Let me know what you think of these potential signings in the comments below. Drop a like on this video. Share it if you haven't as well, because it's nice to let some other blues know about this channel, because uh, I'll be doing plenty more videos now. I'm back from my uh, overseas expeditions, so to speak. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you soon.